Welcome to Mikey Big Smoke. Thanks for joining me. I've got a little six foot by six foot greenhouse in my garden. It's not much, but I'm planting a few seeds. I've seen some amazing videos lately on canning and dehydrating. That really inspired me to do my own, grow my own vegetables, fruits from scratch. Let's see if I can get them ready to eat on the table by August and September. Putting this special bubble wrap for greenhouses up around all the window areas and seal the edges as much as possible to stop cold air getting in. You might also notice I've got a fan going off every now and again. That's to keep the temperature up. I've got an automatic control. Electricity supply to the greenhouse. Two thermostatic controllers. This one here is a little thermostat control for chilies that are just coming in, into uh, seedlings now. Well, a lot of them are germinated, some haven't. We'll see how I get on in the next couple of weeks. The whole greenhouse temperature is controlled by this device, which has you set the temperature control in there and then you plug your fan into there and the fan is situated around there on the floor that keeps the temperature set heats the greenhouse hot thai chilies krakatoa f1 chilies jalapeno chilies rhubarb fiber pots we got money makers cherry tomatoes basil thyme coriander plum tomatoes rhubarb from seed i'm going to give it a go parsley gherkins let me into a little secret. I hate pickled gherkins, but I'm going to try to grow some. Oh dear. Habanero chilies, chives, courgettes, and some sweet peppers. How on earth am I going to fit all that in this greenhouse? I've got no idea. Potting tray. I disinfected the greenhouse before I put the bubble wrap up. General purpose compost and vermiculite. This is Sweet Pepper Robertina from B&Q. You get a free label. You get 12 seeds in that packet. Keeping the temperature 18 to 20 degrees. I'm gonna put these into a tray and then transplant them to pots. Press down on there. There's the seeds into my hand. So I need four rows of three. Now I'm gonna cover it lightly with a light sprinkling of compost and vermiculum, vermiculite, I should say. I haven't got a sprinkler, which I should get. Labeled there. 5th of the 3rd, 2020, I'll put it on the back. There we go. Habanero chilies. Average of 12 seeds in that packet. Got my little seed tray. Gonna open those up. There we go. Four rows of three. Now I'm going to cover them up with compost and vermiculite, half a centimetre. Gently press them down, give them a little water. Here's my propagator going at 25 Celsius. Got my peppers which I put in there just a minute ago and here I'm germinating some other chilli seeds. These are the ones I've just planted up. I'm going to put that in the soil. That's the temperature probe for the propagator. Pop the lid back on. While well, I get on and pot something else up. That's my gardener's delight. Cherry tomatoes planted up. Okay. Welcome back. My propagator is full up with seeds that I'm trying to germinate. The ones at the back there I've done today. We've got cherry tomatoes. Habanero chilies, sweet peppers, jalapeno, Krakatoa, hot Thai chili. These are the ones more that I've potted up today. More cherry tomatoes, more cherry tomatoes, gardener's delight. Ordinary tomatoes, two trays of thyme. Probably should have spread them out. Another jalapeno tray, which I had. And then my plum tomatoes. And also I've got to find a place for this rhubarb plant. Hi everyone, back in the greenhouse again. It's been seven days since I planted those chili seeds, tomato seeds and a few other bits and bobs. And I'm gonna show you a quick progress update. So let's have a quick look. Got my hot Thai chilies, my jalapenos. They're all coming along nicely. You can see there's quite a lot of growth in those seedlings. Let's open the propagator and have a quick look in there. As expected, the tomatoes in the propagator are bombed out and those seedlings are ready to put into pots, definitely. We've got the habanero chilies, they're starting to come out. And we've got the sweet peppers, they're starting to come out. The seeds are planted outside of the propagator. There was a whole tray of jalapenos that have taken three weeks to start to germinate and 
developing seedlings, they're coming out now. Tomatoes, they're definitely out. Yeah, loads of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, normal tomatoes, plum tomatoes, and the thyme. I'm gonna have an a lot of fun get <laughs> planting that lot up. The thyme has come out really quickly and easily under these conditions, just in a greenhouse, heated up to about 23, 24 Celsius. So yeah, everything's ticking along nicely. A week later, I think I'll take these tomatoes out of here, put them outside the propagator. Here we go, so I'm gonna try and transfer these moneymaker tomatoes into individual pots, biodegradable pots they got here. Let's get some of them filled up with soil. So that's filled up with soil, put that in the hole, firm it up, put a bit more soil in there. There we go, that's one. Only another 15 more to do. I'll show you when I've got them all potted up into individual pots. Okay, got my individual moneymaker seedlings planted up into individual pots. And we'll see they get on, give them a good water. That compost was quite dry. All right, I've potted up the moneymaker seedlings into individual pots. Now I'm gonna give them a good water and I'm gonna come back in a week's time, see how they're getting on. So that's how it goes from seed to tray to pots in a week. All in this little six foot greenhouse. There you go. I've got 20 pots there, money makers. I'll keep a few for my own garden and then maybe I'll sell a few on a boot sale. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, check out some of my other videos. Please leave a comment down below as well. Thanks very much for joining me today. See you again soon on Marky Big Smoke. Cheers everyone, bye.